<laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to start it off real quick and simple. So, guys, we're looking at the new ground. Yep. Well, Nathan's chasing it out. Yep. And, guys, you got to remember when you're out in the gold fields and you've been on Geovic and find those gold fields area or Tully Dot maps or whatever you want to do, yep. or whatever you use. Or even uh, satellite images on Google Maps. That's actually a really That's good That's a really tool. good idea, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, throw that in. <laughs> Jump on Google Maps, hit satellite, overlook gold field areas with Golden Triangle or wherever you're working, New South Wales, yep. W, whatever. Yep. And you'll be able to see satellite images of mullet keeps or old workings and surfings and stuff like that. Yep. Good tip. Good yep. tip. So, if you do see that, guys, travel down your road. As I said, we couldn't see any of this off the main stretch, off the main road that we're coming in on. So, all we did was take a drive in. Yep. And, and yeah, full. As, as far as the eye can see, in almost yeah. every direction, we've got choice. Exactly. So, guys, you've got to remember that this is exactly what we are looking for. When we come out looking for new fields, gold areas, Hunting grounds, this mullet keeps just spotted throughout and scattered yeah. is exactly what we're looking for. So when you're out there, guys, if you find an area like this with the pipe clays, different colours of pipe clays, that's just yep. age of the, how long the pipe how, clays been out yeah, of the ground. How long it's been settling, how much mineralisation has washed through it over, over the journey. Over the journey? Yep. So guys, this is exactly us to keep hammering, look for yep. when you're out here. Yep. So, quick tip, drive into those little tracks, have a look, and as soon as you see all these mic Mullet poles everywhere. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, first 21. <laughs> um, you're in the right areas and yeah. get out and smash them. It's all a part of the research. They always, we're always going to continue to reiterate that for you guys. Exactly. Research, research, research. research. And remember, 90% of prospecting is research. That's it. Cool. All right. <laughs> Let's get into it. Do it. All right, guys. So, basics 101. So, when you first get out the gold fields, guys, this is exactly what Nathan and I do to set up the machine and get the machine ground balanced to the ground we're working in. Yep. So what we're going to do, Nate's going to take it away and explain what we do. And at the same time, I'll show you guys visually on the script, monster of the, the, monster of the screen, <laughs> <laughs> the screen of the monster, what's happening. Yeah. All right, so Alrighty. let's take it away. All right. That first thing, obviously, power up. Yeah, the other thing that Ash and I do quite often is we work side by side. So... This part of it, where you, you lift it up to um, have the um, electromagnetic interference cancelled out. That's it. We point towards each other. Exactly. So Always point your monster if you work. Yeah. There. Exactly. All right. And you hold that up there for about 10 seconds. All right. At that point, after you've got your 10 seconds done, we, Good to we, go. we drop it down to manual six. Yep. Hold it there for another five seconds or so. Yep. Then go down to the ground that you're going to start working. Because we're in pipe clay, it's likely it's going to be quite quiet. Yeah. Um, but when you are on hotter grounds, when you do your, your manual ground pump to get your ground balance happening, you may get your noise. Exactly. What you're looking for there, when you do have noise, is on your up and down stroke, the noise is the same up and down. Yep. It's basically the same as your left to right swing, but you've got to have it in uh, the up and down motion to get your ground balance. Exactly ready. right, and it will quieten down. And that's the whole point of ground balancing. Yep. So now we've got to this point, guys. We drop it to the ground, do a couple of pumps, a couple of swings. That machine is dead quiet. Yep. So now what we do, what do we do now, Nate? We go from there straight up into manual 10. We go this is the type of ground we're hunting. We're confident that that's going to be the setting for this. But that's where you'll start to get your ID. So as you can hear, Nate's machine's giving feedback but it will quieten down and ground balance there it is there it see is. how quiet that is now so that machine is balanced to the ground that we're working in that's it so that machine now is perfectly balanced to the ground we're working in all those little tones you hear are <coughs> normal feedback tones but guys really quickly for the guys who are in hotter ground areas in the golden triangle or wherever you're working all you got to do from that manual six point is do that and then crank it up if it's hot crank it up one and keep cranking up until you get minimal feedback noise in between each crank in between you each do crank. your ground pump and then your swing yep. you do your little sweep to see if it's in balance exactly then when you go up to the next level if it starts to get really noisy then you're likely to back it off one level back and it that's, off one that's level. when you know that you're going to be relatively well ground balanced for exactly. your machine um, that said, also, if you do, if you use it in um, auto mode, just plain auto mode, 
that will do all of that for you. But Correct. you've still got to follow the same process of ground balancing it, and then you do your sweep. And once he's quiet, you'll you'll know. You'll exactly hear right. It. Is that up in the auto mode now? No, so this is manual ten guys manual and. There's a hot rod. Lovely hot rod. But yes, this machine is perfectly ground balanced on this area of ground that we're working in, in manual 10. So guys, that's a quick refresher of the ground balance method that we got us used. As we said, if it's too hot in manual 10, back it off one, repeat the pumps, repeat the swings until you quietens down. And once you've got minimal feedback, just slight back chat, yous are good to go. Absolutely. And as Nay said, for the auto functions guys, Auto function's brilliant, I still use it. Yep, so do I. We use it all the time, especially in the hotter grounds, it sort yep. of makes it a little bit easier for you. Yep. And guys, for the quick trick answer, guys are asking about quick track balance. Yep. Um, just every every couple of meters you walk, hit that quick track or fast track, yep. and give it a quick a few pumps, and it should settle that machine down for you. But anyway, guys. See if we can find some gold today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> G'day, guys. This one's mainly focused, as I said, guys, we're doing a refresher. So us here at Keep Hammond like to work a square metre by square metre. So this flat section of pipe clay on this mother peak that I'm working here, I'm going to work this top section here. So guys, always remember when you're swinging coil, for the new guys especially, so if you have a look at my coil, I'll start at this square metre and work that way. And to always remember, overlap your coil. So swing both ways, then move up half a coil width. And swing again. One, two, up, swing again. All overlap by one swing each side, but never sporadically walk too fast and step because you've just missed a lot of ground area with the coil. Always overlap your swings, like so. And that, guys, will increase your chances of finding a target. All right, guys, so I've just shown you that square meter by square meter patch. Now we're on a mullet kill, and now we're approaching the decline uh, of the mullet. So a really good tip guys, and I see this a lot with beginners, a lot. Um, your aim of the game is to keep your coil as close to the ground as you can possibly get it. I see a lot of new guys, and I was there too, don't worry, it's just practice and you'll get there, is they hold their coil a good inch and a half, two inches above the ground. So that you'll lose that inches below the depth, below the ground to find a target. So I always, when I first start, and what I recommend to a lot of people is to literally glide your coil along the ground. Get into a habit of doing that for a few hours. The monster will give back a sound when you hit something. But you really get into that habit of going along the ground and then just slightly raising it just off so you're only hitting it every now and then. And that will double your chances of finding gold. And where I was going with this decline of the mullock heap, your coils can move as we all know. So I will, we've been working flat ground. So my coil is sitting flush with the ground like this. But as soon as I'm working downhill, I will move my coil and flatten it out with the grade of the hill. And then I can run the coil flush along the whole ground, working my way down. So guys, try and really keep your coil as close to the ground as you can. At the very start, get into a habit of rubbing the ground with your coil as you swing, and then just slowly lift it until you're just getting every now and then you're just in the ground. That'll increase it big time. Hi right, guys, got another really good tip for a lot of people. We've had this question a lot last year, and me and Nath really wanted to make it a priority to get the answers out there for you. So right now, we're gonna show you this. Guys, I just worked that mullet heap behind us. Nice mullet heap there. And now I've looked at my next, where I wanna hunt next, and it's just this little small heap right here. What I wanna do is get to that heap, show you how I do it when I approach from one heap to another, and give you a listen to all the general tones I'm just going to get Laura to follow me, and you'll be able to hear what I ignore, what I'm listening for, and what the general feedback noise your monster should make when you're looking for gold. Let's have a look. Alright, so the first thing I do when I get to a new heap, guys, is obviously like we've explained, is because it's different ground, the minerals can be very different from even metre to metre. So, this is manual 10, what we're running before. You can hear the monster will not cancel that out, so I'll drop that back down one to manual nine. So now that's a nice quiet feedback. That to me is perfectly ground balanced now. So I'm running manual nine on this heap, where I was running manual 10 on this one. 
So I'll get Laura to follow me close, show you my screen as I'm going through, and give you the rough idea of what the normal tones are when you're hunting. So I'll grid this and I'll work this all the way along and then I'll turn around and work it all the way back. But I'll give you a rough idea of what I'm listening for and general, general tones. So that's your peel peel hot rock tone. So we'll ignore that. I really hope you can hear this, but these are just general tones you'll hear when you're prospecting with a gold monster. I run my call as close as possible and scrape to the ground as I can. And all these general tones that you're hearing are normal. You are just looking for that short, sharp, crisp left and right. It was nice and quiet ground here, so I could probably crank it up to manual 10, get a bit more power out of it, because it's nice and quiet. Yep. So there's a left and right target, guys. And it's very drawn out, left and right. And if you have a look at the meter on that tone, the monster's unsure. So all I do in that situation, guys, is give it a real quick scrape. Go back over it. So now the target's, the target's gotten louder, but it's still a very drawn out tone. So it's either minerals in the ground or rubbish. But gold can do that if it's deep. And once you pull it out, it'll get short, sharp, and crisp. All right. Okay, so it's, just, it's nothing, it was just minerals in the ground. So you just fill your hole back in, make sure it's good and neat, and go again. But anyway, guys, these are general tones you'll hear. I hope someone did get something out of that, but that's the normal stuff you'll hear when you're swinging the monster out in the gold fields. Uh, g'day guys and girls, how are we all? Um, my first target for the day, no idea what it is, but doesn't sound too bad, so get in and have a bit of a look. Whoa. Soft. Very soft. That strengthened up a lot. Too, fella. Oh, better take that off. That'll give me a cold <laughs> every day of the week. Short, sharp, crisp noise in it. Bit, um, bit drawn out. So hopefully, if she's gold, she's a little bit of a bigger, flatter piece. But oh, it's a specie. <laughs> Is it really? It's a little spicy. Yeah. Sure is. There we go. Let's see if I can. Oh. oh I've got to find it again. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Great stuff, 2021. Drop oh, yeah. Drop me first piece of gold on video, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. 
She's awesome. a little stressy fella. Yeah. Ripper. Yeah, it's like really coated on that outside edge there, isn't it? It's kind of cool. Yeah, like you, wow. You can see the host rock underneath and, um, yeah. That's a cool little bit. Well, there you go. Welcome to 2021, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Sounds good. That sounds very nice. That'd be why. Is she cold? Yeah. Nice little figure. Tiny. But gold's gold. Gold is gold. There you go. Nice. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> well, patience, perseverance, pays off. <laughs> awesome. Sorted. Yeah. Well, guys, it's been a wicked afternoon. Our goal, we feel, we hope for you guys, has been accomplished. Just a refresher for the year. Yeah. Managed to snag a couple of bits of gold too. Um, yeah. Good to get back out for the year. Yeah. So good. Nice days, guys. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. And new grounds produced a little bit too. That's it. Oh. Have a look. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to bother putting it on the coil. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. New area, new, new in. So we got three bits between us today. And then, ugh, yeah, if it moves. <laughs> <laughs> that first bit, mate, was an absolute pearl. He's a cracker. So yeah, the one in front there, Ash, Ash pulled that out. Um, close to the base of a tree, yeah? Yeah, next yeah. to the tree, yep. Right. And uh, yeah, that, that one I thought was a specie that Ash unveiled. <laughs> That's good. That one. So. No. And yeah, got another quiet little target. She's very, very tawny, comparative. So, yeah, yeah, no, on the gold. No, so. that's it. Yeah. Our main mission today was to get those refresher ones up. Yep. I uh, hope it helps. Please, oh, not please, it's just give it a look, give it a try. That's Do it. Do it when and you're out there, guys, and, and work. Same as always. Give us any feedback if there's any you know questions that you want um, yeah. answered or anything like that. Um, please feel free to give us feedback. Just a message away. I think we are looking to organise Q and A. Towards the end of the month. Yep, yep, um, definitely. So it'll be the Friday night, like yeah, normal. Friday, 29th. Get I the think Q &A, so. Yeah, up and happening. And yep. Get on it. Anyway, guys, yeah. yeah. No, thank you for the tuning in still. Yep. Thanks for supporting us. And we'll awesome. catch you next time. We'll catch you next time. Till then, keep packing. Then I heard Jesse yell over the pile. He was sifting, shook the hill.